So, let me tell you about my adventures here. I had received this router a while ago. This is the TP-Link BE6500 dual band Wi-Fi 7 router. Um, it was, I've been using this for a few months. It has proven to be a pretty good router. Um, the Wi-Fi has been, um, been bulletproof, no issues with it, fast, good management, and generally just a good experience with it. The problem comes is that now the U.S. government is saying that after the major telecom companies have been hacked in the U.S., they are seeing some indications that TP-Link routers um, might be associated or might be, might be utilized um, in some of these attacks. So that's a problem. I don't know. This is what the U.S. government says. Being in the, in the industry, in IT, um, I've always been wary of routers and networking components um, from outside the country. Uh, we'll, we'll really get into who owns TP-Link, where they're headquartered, uh, but there is some concerns about these and there is talk about banning TP-Link routers in 2025 from the U.S. market. Um, so they're getting DJI'd. Um, whether it's justified or not, who knows? We'll see. We'll see what goes on. But I know from my perspective, I want to have um, a Wi-Fi network that's secure um, and that I can trust. And I've kind of lost that a little bit with TP-Link. Now, if you look at my previous video, my review of the BE6500 Archer. So this is my follow-up to the Wi-Fi router from TP-Link. It was a very favorable review, but I did mention some things that I was a little concerned about. One of them is the cloud setup, um, using a cloud-based account to manage the device. I will say that with the BE6500, most of the advanced features require uh, like network protection, parental controls, quality of service, comprehensive reports, uh, network utilization reports, they require usage of the cloud account, which means, and I pointed out once again, that about those networking devices are being sent to the cloud. Where that cloud is hosted is maybe in a country that is has an adversarial relationship with the U.S. I was going to only do local management with that router, um, but I really needed to look at the full, full suite of controls and mechanisms with in the router that is cloud enabled, that requires uh, a cloud account. So really wanted to do a full review, and then I was going to switch it to local local administrator role and not have a cloud managed account. Um, but I forgot the password, the local account password that I set. And in order for me to reset that local account password, I have to hit the reset button on that router and reconfigure it, which if I'm going to do that, well, might as well get another router.